Uh, I think we have another Z poem case prepared, and we have one of the grandmasters in endoscopy, uh, Haru Inoue, who was also with us yesterday during our excellent Olympus uh, uh, pre-satellite uh, symposium that we had. Haru, are you, can you hear me? Uh, and are you ready to yes, show your life case? How are you? <laughs> hey, good evening to you. Welcome back. <laughs> so, uh, so uh, uh, thank you very much. I, I, um, so, uh, Horst demonstrated a great uh, performance of the uh, Z poem. Um, I totally agree with his uh, comment and uh, his procedure. So, um, uh, please uh, show my video. So, it's the same procedure. No sound, so I, I, I can speak. Uh, so uh, now the, uh, on the septum now I uh, uh, inject, injecting, and the, uh, you can see uh, mucosa lifting. So uh, this is uh, just a saline with the uh, without epinephrine. So okay, then so uh, mucosa cut. So uh, same to host. Um, we place uh, uh, almost uh, a two centimeter mucosal incision. Yes. So, uh, so discussion is that we place the horizontal or longitudinal incision, but that doesn't matter. So anyway, a small incision that allows uh, the endoscopy tip can pass. Uh, anyway, so now we are uh, dissecting the submucosal fibers. Okay, okay. So it used to be um, conventional um, um, mucosa and the muscle layer cut at the time. So we widely dissect the mucosa together with muscle layer. But in this procedure, it's a like uh, a poem or uh, some ESD procedure. First, we dissect the uh, uh, submucosa only. Now, uh, in front of us, we can recognize a muscle layer. Uh, the left side, so uh, diverticulum side, now we inject the, uh, into the submucosa layer uh, to make a contrast. Anyway, so at this moment, used to be we cut the mucosa as well, but uh, now we dissect only muscle layer. So in this case, uh, we use a very soft distal attachment. Uh, that is a um, space adjuster we call, but uh, we can accept any type of uh, uh, distal attachment. Without attachment, it's impossible. But anyway, so like this way. So now we are uh, dissecting the muscle fibers using the uh, spray coagulation. So 50 watt effect uh, two. So we can dissect. So muscle layer. So used to be a uh, thing uh, we cut uh, the mucosa as well. At that time, we are so much afraid, uh, too much cut and the mediastinum open. But in this procedure, same to a poem procedure, uh, uh, we cut only a uh, muscle layer. So uh, even when we cut, cut, cut and the deeper, so definitely no problem because we preserve the uh, uh, lots of uh, uh, mucosa, which covers the defect. Okay, keep going. So always uh, visual control. Now we are dissecting the muscle fiber using a spray coagulation, some are perforating small vessel. But anyway, so uh, we have to at least uh, dissect the cricopharyngeal muscle totally. And then we put back the endoscope. Now I'm watching the surrounding tissue, but anyway, like this way. Muscle layer was already cut more than two centimeters, but the mucosa incision is just top of the septum. So a septum remains, but without muscle. So it's okay. So after this, so we just close the mucosa entry using clips. Okay, so this this technique is a easy one. <laughs> so uh, 
cell like this way. Uh, we place the uh, first clip at the center, uh, like a stay suture. But, but if you, if you, however you want, you can close anyway. This uh, nipples are defect. Okay. Uh, take photo and then the fire. <laughs> okay, so fire. So after this, uh, we repeat the uh, clipping of the uh, approximated mucosa and uh, tightly close the mucosal defect using several clips. Okay, of course, the mucosa layer is a only cut and then closed. So septum uh, looks uh, um, not widely open, but Actually, when we follow the patient, so muscle layer has already uh, cut, so um, mucosal septum is uh, going down. Actually, uh, windows are uh, open widely. So after this procedure, uh, we can show you the uh, follow-up endoscopy. So uh, used to be we cut the mucosa layer as well. So at the time, so sometimes the uh, closing process of the mucosa, it, it be became uh, a tough procedure. But so like this way, we have uh, uh, lots of uh, uh, mucosa. We remain so very easy to uh, make a complete closure. OK, so. Uh, we can see both the uh, natural lumen and the diverticulum well. Ah, sorry. So <laughs> uh, we we don't we don't uh, involve the uh, uh, rentgenographic uh, image, but the, uh, uh, after after this procedure, um, diverticulum is the opening of the diverticulum is the widely open. Then so. Uh, of course, the symptom gone and the patient satisfied very well. Okay, thank you very much, thank Haru. You very much. Beautiful demonstration. So, uh, I'm, we will have a very short discussion. I will ask you and Stefan and, and Horst one or two questions and then we will we'll move on. What's the big advantage of doing this? Uh, it's, it's, some people say it's just a complicated way of the straightforward technique that we have. Why should we make tunnels and do this? So can I can I answer? Yes, please. So uh, a, yes, so your yeah, previous technique is also uh, uh, fa fast and quick, but the uh, so uh, previous technique we are a little bit afraid uh, if we cut too much mucosa deeper, so uh, we have a potential risk of uh, mediastina open and then uh, uh, even after closure uh, we are a little bit nervous the patient uh, become a post. Uh, post procedure mediastinitis. Uh, but uh, like this way, so we preserve a lot of mucosa. So uh, we are definitely uh, with confidence uh, uh, no uh, post procedure mediastinitis. So, so th what's your th opinion of the horse? Th so, thank you. The horse, it means basically you can cut deeper uh, while maintaining safety. That, that does mean that the clips that Stefan basically placed as a kind of prevention measure here with the Z-POM becomes imperative, right? Absolutely, yes. Uh, so in fact, uh, we uh, usually we don't use clips when we do conventional septotomy. This is also an open question, are they really needed? But uh, as you said, for Z-POM, it's mandatory. So then is, is the technical challenge of doing Z-POM not significantly more at a higher level than doing your standard Zankers? Can everybody who's been doing Zankers now enter into Z-POEM, or would you say you can only do this if you have a, a experience with doing achalasia treatment with POEM, which is on, on which that technology, this is largely superimposed? Yes, I think uh, you should have uh, appropriate e experience in conventional POEM for treatment of achalasia to know how to deal with uh, submucosal 
uh, endoscopy and submucosal interventions, whereas the traditional septotomy is a really an easy procedure, especially as uh, when you use the technique as shown by Stefan. Uh, Haru, one question to you. I saw that when you opened up the mucosal layer, you also started yes. cutting the upper part of, this, of the septum just to get quicker in with your endoscope, whereas Horst really made two separate tunnels. Is, is it okay to cut the septum quickly to get a better entry? Was that the reason why you did that? Uh -huh. So uh, I, I think either way, either way, before cutting the muscle, the uh, confirming the abort submucosal layer, submucosal tunnel, that is uh, one of the technique. And, uh, but the, uh, uh, so uh, in my case, in my case, uh, we can identify the septum muscle very easily. Then uh, we uh, uh, cut the muscle together with creating submucosal tunnel. That may uh, happen the, uh, even in a, a poem uh, case, Akaraja patient thing. So, okay. we can accept more. So, a lot of questions that now come in relate to complications like mediastinitis and abscess formation. And I think S Stefan already saw this coming. So, the, the second part of this, uh, this session will actually be all on complications. Uh, and we've asked Horst to uh, uh, come up with. Uh, some of the information on the evidence of Zenker's diverticulum, and he will likely also touch upon that. Horst, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jack.